Welcome back to my channel guys. It's your girl Coco Styles and on this channel we talk about beauty, fashion, and lifestyle. But in today's video, I'm going to show you guys some of my favorite dark skin girl friendly makeup. Um, I think that these are pretty much affordable. If you don't want to spend $50 on foundation, then this particular one may not be good for you. But I'm just going to get started really quick, guys. Um, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Coco underscore dot styles dot NY. I'm going to link that below for you guys. And I'll mention it again at the end. So I'm just going to jump right into it. First thing is, you guys know that I recently started wearing makeup. Um, well, foundation. I just was very afraid some years ago. Just, I don't know. I just wasn't into it like that. <laughs> so... First, I have NARS and NARS. So this is Sheer Glow, and this is their Radiant Longwear Foundation. They said that this is full coverage, but I don't think it is. I just think it gives me a light little finish. I use a very, very small amount of this, and I really like it. I have not broken out from this, so this is why I am mentioning this one for dark skin women. And this one, I kind of feel like it gives me too much coverage. I don't even know if that makes any sense to you guys. But for a person that doesn't really, that never used to wear a lot of makeup, this to me, it kind of makes me feel like I don't look like myself. So sometimes I will mix a little bit if I'm going out, but most of the time I won't. So I had this for a while and you can see it's only that much that has been used, like a tiny bit. And this is Marquise's, and this is Marquise's also. Now, a tip for you guys, if you are going to Ulta and you are buying NARS makeup, just know that do, they do not carry all colors. They're most likely going to try to pitch you in, I think it's called Macau. No. Macau made me look extremely ashy, and it just wasn't a go. But when I went to Nordstrom's, they had every single color. So this is when I found Marquise's, and they think they had New Caledonia or something like that. Those are another, a few other colors um, that are dark skin friendly. So that's the foundation. As far as the concealer, same with NARS. I'm trying to stick with them because I like them, guys. Like I said, I don't have any skin issues with this, and I'm really big on not breaking out. I know people suffer from acne, and, you know, they really can't they try to control it but sometimes it's just hard to so I just pay attention to my skin really closely um growing up I didn't put a lot on my face honestly guys when I tell you what I used to put on my face you're gonna laugh my mom was the Vaseline queen I don't know if it's a black thing <laughs> but literally up until I started wearing foundation I was the Vaseline queen it never did anything to my skin bad um so just imagine me going to school and greasy every single day. And my sister does it now to my nephew. <laughs> if she sees this, she's going to laugh. Um, sorry. So this, these are the two uh, concealers. And the lighter, the lighter one is called Amande. The darker one is Cafe Dark One. So you guys can see that. I don't even know if... Will it? Um, probably not. It's really small at the bottom. So those are the two that I really like. And if you are my shade, I know on camera it comes up lighter, but I am dark skinned. So if you go and you check out Cafe Dark, I'm sorry, is it called Cafe Dark? Cafe, sorry. And it says dark one. Um, you should be fine. It's pretty much close to my skin color. As for a tinted moisturizer for the summer, um, tinted moisturizers are great. Just a slight slight coverage i personally think that if you do not have any dark spots you can use this and this color is polynesia dark one um the only thing is that i kind of feel i look like i look a little greasy with it <laughs> even though i used to wear vaseline i feel like this one gives me more of a shine so you can probably put a pow like powder over this if you just want something light on your skin. Because wearing foundation in the summer can be a bit much. But um, 
you can try this one. And like I said, it's Polynesia Dark One. Um, and I think this is about $50. And it has SPF 30 in it, so this is really good. So that's as far as face with color. Um, then I have NARS. I actually do have another... Hmm. Hold on, guys. Because I don't have a lot of makeup. But I have some. Oh, it's in here. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Okay. I completely forgot I had this in here. Because I've been gearing towards this NARS one so, so much so lately. Um, so we're going to get to... Let me mention another concealer. This is from MAC. And this is... Which one was this? I can't even see the name on here. But I haven't used it in so long. And I actually need to. Let me pull it out and pull it closer. <laughs> um, as you can see, I used it a lot. But I'm probably thinking, because I started using this cheaper version that I actually really like. Um, I cannot see the name on here, guys. This might be... I don't know if the concealer in the MAC foundation is like the same NC45, but I believe that's what they gave me. Um, I don't like MAC foundation. It's very strong and smell so immediately I broke out with it it wasn't good for me however I did buy the studio fix powder um foundation and this is NW45 um this was okay I just don't really like matte foundation I don't know I always feel like my skin is dry it could just be me Maybe because I stopped using my good old Vaseline, but um, it could be a mental thing too. But this was, it wasn't bad. I just don't like the matte finish. So you guys can try this out also. It doesn't have a smell. I did not break out. So that's why I said the foundation itself was not a match for my skin, but this was okay. I just don't do matte foundation. Also, I have some... Okay, my bronzer, let's make sure I grab everything, guys, because I know me. So I have one bronzer that I really love, and it's the Morphe. Oh, it's so beat up, guys. Um, Leader, okay? I love it. The reason why I love it is because it shows up on my skin. NARS has one, but it just wasn't dark enough for my skin. So I had to take that back. So if you are my shade, maybe a little bit deeper. And I think they have one more that's darker than this one. If I can find it, I'm actually going to link it below for you guys. Um, I think it's a step up from this one. But I think this is really good to keep in your staple. If you do struggle with finding a bronzer that actually shows up on your skin. And again, I'm not a makeup guru, but I know that that NARS one did not show, and this one does. Um, what else? I have a contour palette that I have not used, and that is because I don't know how to contour. <laughs> so, but I'll be, I should play around in this one day. I don't know. Maybe I'll do a video of playing around with my contour kit. And this has three colors. It has the contour, the scope, and the highlight. They're very pretty. I think I'm just afraid to just try it and look weird when I get outside. Maybe I'll try it one day. But I think this is very, very dark and girl friendly. And this is affordable. This is Black Radiance. And it's in Target. Um, most of the stuff here is very affordable, guys. Um, so just know that. Then I have some sh shadows. Now, ones that I usually always buy is Amber Light. Amber Light's from MAC. It's beat up. 
that's pretty goldish color. Now, I like goldish colors on darker skin. I don't know, it's just very goddess looking, in my opinion. Um, I've seen it show up on maybe like brown skin and maybe like a caramel skin. But anything, any anybody with a lighter skin, I'm not sure how it would show up on you, but it's very, very pretty. So I'm not a makeup artist. So if you are a lighter skin, you may be able to get this to show up on your skin and, and pop with um, a really good primer. So yeah. And then I have this Juvia's palette. And um, this is the, the Warrior. This one is all beat up too. <laughs> so it has golds and browns and this is something. These are the colors that I really like for me. Um, I'm not into colors on my face. I just don't like it. And then I also have the Nubian palette. Can you guys see that? I don't know. It's not coming up. It's so bright. Um, and this one also has like pretty browns and and stuff, right? For, for really neutral colors. Actually, I need to start using this one because they have like really pretty like muted orange that'll look really nice on deeper skin. And also I have the Ring Me Alarm. This is the one that I monster every day. I eat it up every day. Um, I hope you guys can see that. It's so beat up. But if you can tell, I go for like neutral colors, browns and stuff like that. Um, and that's because like I said, I really like how it shows up on my skin. Um, it's not for everyone, but for me, it does really, really well on my skin. Okay. So then we have... Some MAC Mineralized um, Skin Finish. And I have two. Okay. So, in my opinion, the dark one shows up better than the deep, the dark deepest. Which is weird because I thought that the deep, the dark deepest would be the darker one, but... I actually like this one better, so it was a mistake. It's not bad, but I like the dark the dark better. Um, and it, it is the Skin Finish Natural. There's another one that doesn't do what this does, so just be careful when you are purchasing it. So that's MAC. So if you are a NW45, NC45, um, you can wear this NARS, NARS foundation. Um, so that's for that. Then I have some highlight from Morph, Morphe, Mirage. Can you guys see? My thing is like so bootleg. I don't know. I don't know. I'm trying to get better at this, but this is really pretty. I haven't worn this since, hmm, I don't know. But it's a really pretty, like, goldish color. You don't need a lot. You don't want to be outside looking like a walking highlighter. Okay. Uh, that's that. As for blush, as for blush, I have two blushes here. I have a MAC um, Ambering Rose, which is this one. Very pretty. And for NARS, I have Savage. And they kind of look similar. Let me open this up for you guys. They kind of look similar. Uh-oh. They kind of look similar. I like them a lot. They'll give me a little bit of rosy cheek. Not too cheeks, but not too much. Then... Let's see. I have... Okay, that's for that. I Okay, so as far as powders, like um, setting powders, I have 
uh, two. I haven't used the first one in a while because I bought this one first. This is the Laura Mercier. This is the regular translucent one. I haven't used this since I bought the deep, the medium deep. Um, I don't know. It was making me feel a little ashy a little bit. But I like this a lot. A lot, lot, lot. Okay. So those are the two that I have. So then I have some eyebrow pencils here. Where's the other one? Is this it? Where is it? Mm -mm. This lip, eyebrow, lip, lip, lip. I have another eye. Is this it? Yeah. And I think this is the other one. That's a lip. Okay. Seems like something is missing. I'm always saying someone stole something, right? <laughs> All right. So as far as eyebrow pencil, I know a lot of people use Anastasia. Um, but... I don't. I just feel like you can go get you a cheap cheap pencil <laughs> and make it work. I use the CoverGirl, I'm sorry, Revlon Color Stay. I think it's about $9, $8.99 maybe. I like this a lot. The tip of it is like on a slant. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's like a slight, slight slant. And, um, and it kind of gives like hair-like brushes. And the color that I get is a... What is the color? A dark brown. And this one. The words on these things are so small. This is Brow, brow Perfection. Um, brown Perfection by NYX, NYX. And this is just a regular pencil. But I use the color state every single day. And also, I sometimes add in this CoverGirl brow gel. I keep saying CoverGirl. Revlon. I don't know if it's coming up because it's gold. So it has gel here and it has a pencil here. I don't like the pencil. It feels like cr it's just so... It doesn't show up on my skin. But sometimes I will put this and it just adds a little bit of color to your brow um, if you want it. So that's what I have for eyebrows. And this color is dark brown also. All of these are dark brown. Um, I don't do black or anything like that on my eyebrows. It's just not for me. All right. For, let's see. For lip liner, I have, this is from MAC. This is called... Cushy. It's like a, a light type of brown. It's brown, but it's definitely not as dark as chestnut. Um, so sometimes I use that. And I have chestnut, of course. I also have one from... What is this? NYX. And this is Club Hopper. And it's brown also. Club Hopper. So if you're in there and you can't find a dark brown, you can try out Club Hopper. I don't know if you, if that's coming up. Yeah, it's, it's pretty dark. And then I have Current. Current is more of like a maroon-ish color. And I'll tell you guys what I usually wear this with. So with current, I would actually wear it with what lipstick? What's the name of that lipstick? It's called mm, No, it's this one. Heroin. 
heroin is like a purplish color, but it's so pretty. I won't wear this by itself, guys. I would definitely wear this with some sort of ombre effect. I need to start wearing lipsticks. But yeah, we wear these masks, so I'm just like, whatever. But, um, and also for lips, I have a, a NARS, uh, this is a NARS, um, velvet matte lipstick. And it's called Dance Fever. Can you see that color? I wore this thing down. It's very nice. It kind of reminds me of Photo from MAC. Um, yeah, it kind of reminds me of Photo. And that's NARS. I also have this liquid one from NARS. So I'm not, it's a liquid matte. I'm not really into dark. And the name of this one is Do It Again. Do It Again. So it's very dark. Like very, very, very dark. I don't like it on me. Uh, maybe I'll try it again. I'll try it again. Uh, but it's a lot of I've, I see a lot of dark skinned women wear this, and it looks great on them. Maybe I'm just not used to it. Um, cause I didn't I, I didn't wear lipstick like that either. I was a lip gloss queen, child. Um, all right. So I have some lipsticks here. And all of them are MAC, with the exception of this one Chanel lipstick. And this Chanel is number 53, Chicness. And to be honest, this does not show up at all. It's literally like a luster. Um, so if you just want to keep it in your bag because it get a little dry, then use this. <laughs> Other than that, it doesn't show up. Um, I have Photo which is dark. That's MAC. I have Myth, which is, hold on. Let's see. Myth is number A44. Um, I don't know if you guys can see. It's so, it's pretty bright, but I only use it in the center of my lips. So that's Myth. I have another one that's pretty light, but it's actually Myth is lighter, but this is more of a natural nude. And this is Spirit. Spirit is very pretty. Spirit is nice. Um, you can wear this by itself. If you want to add a liner, you can. Then we have the infamous Ruby Woo. I actually did buy another red lipstick from Pat McGrath. Let me, I think that's Pat McGrath. Hold on, guys. The dress is all coming apart over here. All right, let me see. I think it's Pat McGrath. I haven't worn it yet because, you know, this pandemic got us like on edge. Yeah. And it's called Vendetta. It's such a cute little case. I haven't worn it yet. It's really pretty too. It's not really coming up on here. But it's very pretty. So this is another one that you guys can check out. And the reason why I'm not trying them on is because it'll just take me too long. But I just think these are friendly for you guys to check them out. Um, go try them on, try them on with and without lip liners, um, and see which one works for you. And then this one is La Vie en Rouge. This one is kind of like, it's not really red. It has like a tint of orange in it, but you have to wear a liner. And I believe what the young lady did in the store, actually it was a guy. I think he took heroin. Heroin is the last one. I think he took heroin and what was it? La Vie and Rouge, Rouge and mixed it with Spirit. And it came out really, really nice on me. Um, and I believe that's it as far as like, oh no, I'm lying. And then I have Two lip glosses that are my favorites. I have some other ones that I did a video on, but these are awesome. And these are both, both are Dior. 
One is 629 and one is 721. Uh, the 629 has a little bit of shimmer in it and the 721 does not. So pick these up. And that's it. That's all I have for you guys. I don't have much makeup because like I said, I was not wearing foundation for a very, very long time. So let me know what you guys think about this video. Um, if you want, I can try them on next time, but I just didn't think it was necessary to just kind of go through all of these. I wanted to show you guys what I think is friendly for us. Take a look. Go to Sephora. I don't even know if you can try on in Sephora right now. I don't know. I don't know. Check it out because some places are letting you do some stuff. But if you like videos like this, please let me know. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you stay to the end of this video, please comment, Coco, we see you. So don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Coco underscore styles underscore NY. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.